In this video, we will be printing this pattern in greater than or equal to 5 ways, basic to advanced. Okay. So, let us start from the most basic method first. We will be using 3 loops, one for the rows and the inner 2 loops we are going to use will be for the spaces and for the stars each okay print statement inside then we are going to use one more loop here and this third loop will be for printing the stars all right as the outer loop is for the rows so we have five rows so we want to execute the outer loop for five times okay so we can just put it from one to six and the value of i will be from 1 to 1 less than 6 that is 5. Now in the first inner loop we want to print spaces so in single quotes type a space okay and in the range let us understand in the first row we have 4 space in the second we have 3 third we have 2 spaces in the fourth we have 1 space and in the fifth we have 0 space okay so in the range of this first inner loop we are going to start from 5 and will end at i. So, in the first iteration, the value of i is 1. Now, in the inner loop, first one, the range of j will be from 5 to 1 not inclusive. Okay. So, the range of j will be from 5 to 2, 5, 4, 3, and 2. And we have 4 spaces here. Okay that will be printed in the first iteration of the first inner loop and as we are decrementing the values so we are going to give a step size of minus 1 and if we use print here then in every iteration of the inner first loop we will get the spaces in four lines rather than in the same row okay so for that we are going to put end equal single quotes here which will make the pattern to print in the same line all right now we have printed the spaces now we are going to print the stars now all right let's put a star in the print statement of the second inner loop okay and now let's understand what should we put in the range of this second inner loop okay so here as you can see in the first row when i is equal to 1 we are printing the pattern only once and when i is equal to 2 we are printing the pattern two times okay and similarly in the next iterations so we will be starting the range of k from 0 to i okay let's take an example of it when i is equal to 1 for the inner second loop k will go from 0 to 1 not inclusive so it will go from 0 to 0 that means it will run for only once and when i is equal to 2 in the next iteration it will be running from 0 to 2 not inclusive that is it will run for the values of k is equal to 0 and 1 which is 2 times so star will be printed 2 times and so on ok but if we use the print statement here it will be printing the stars in separate lines rather than these consecutive ok so for that we have to put end equals single quotes so that it will be printed in the same line press enter backspace and type a print here as you know if you are using end all the successive iterations of these loops will make the print in the same horizontal line rather than this type of pattern so that's why we have used print here and let's execute it and here you can see that we have the same required pattern that we wanted here now in the method 2 we are going to reduce the number of inner loops so we will be using only one inner loop and one outer loop okay so let's call it method 2 and use the loop one for the rows and the inner loop will be for the columns we'll be writing the print statement later on just a minute so outer loop as we did earlier here one to six it will be executed five times so we will be putting 1 to 6 here now in the inner loop we are going to use a logic here so we will be starting the inner loop from 5 until it raises 1 0 is not inclusive ok and comma minus 1 
so the value of j will be starting from 5 to not inclusive 0 so it will start from 5 to 1 and inside here we are going to use a condition using if statement if i is greater than or equal to j we are going to print the star here and same and equals single quotes so that it prints in the same line and in the else statement we are going to use printing spaces okay and the same and equals single quotes so that it prints in the same line and print here after the execution of this loop so that it comes to the next line in the next iteration so now let's understand what this inner loop does okay so when i is equal to 1 the inner loop will go from j is equal to 5 to 1 0 is not inclusive okay so i is equal to 1 1 is not greater than 5 so this will not be printed a space will be printed okay and then j becomes 4 as we have minus 1 here so after 5 j value will be 4 4 is not greater than 1 so it will not be printed then again one space is printed so we have two spaces until now now in the next iteration j will be equal to 3 and 1 is not greater than 3 so again star will not be printed and a space will be printed so we will be having three spaces and now in the next iteration j will be 2 1 is not greater than 2 so star will not be printed and again a space will be printed so now we have four spaces and now in the next iteration j becomes 1 and 1 is greater than equal to 1 so a star will be printed and this will not be printed a space so we have a star and four spaces in the first row and then j becomes 0 so 0 is not inclusive so the loop exits and then we will be printing this new line so that in the next iteration we have printing from the new line next line i mean and in the same way it goes on until we have this last line printing okay and now let's execute it and here you can see that we have the same required pattern all right now in the third method we are going to reduce the number of lines of this loop and we will be using the same two loops but different conditions okay so let's make two loops here first one for the rows and the other for the columns print statement here and a print statement here too all right so in the range of first loop the outer one as we have four spaces in the first row then three two one and zero zero spaces okay so we will be starting the outer loop from four and we will be making it until zero so to include zero we have to type minus one here so that minus one will not be included and it will go from four to zero and as we are decreasing the values so we put a minus one here as a step size all right and in this first print statement we are going to print the number of spaces so just in the single quotes type a space and multiply it with i so when i is equal to 4 it will print 4 spaces in the first iteration and then i is equal to 3 it will print 3 spaces in the second row and so on but we have to put an end here equal single quotes so that it prints in the same line because we want the stars to print in the same line where spaces are okay we have already printed spaces here so in this loop we are going to print the stars so let's put a star in the print statement here and now in the range we are going to put it from 1 to 6 minus i okay so when i is equal to 4 the inner loop j value will be from 1 to 6 minus 4 not inclusive so 6 minus 4 is 2 so 2 will not be included as per the range property so the inner loop will go from 1 to 1 that it will run only once and it will print a star here and in the next iteration when i is equal to 3 then 3 spaces will be printed like this okay and then 
the inner loop value will go from 1 to 6 minus 3 not inclusive that is 3 so 3 will not be included the value of j will go from 1 to 2 so the inner loop will execute two times but we haven't included end here so we are going to use end equals single quotes so that the both stars prints in the same line like this okay and after that we are going to use a print statement here so that in the upcoming iterations of the outer loop all the stars and the spaces are not printed in the same line okay so that they are printed in the next row like this all right and now let's execute it and here you can see that we have the same required pattern now in the method 4 we are going to reduce the number of loops into one so now we will be printing the same pattern using one single loop so let's take i as a variable is equal to one we are going to use a while loop here until i is less than six so it will be running five times okay and we are going to use a print statement here and inside the print statement what you have to print is first of all we need spaces here okay so we are going to print four spaces in the first iteration so we'll multiply the space with five minus i okay so in the first iteration when i is equal to one the spaces will be multiplied by five minus one that is four so we will be having four spaces in the first iteration okay and now after that we're gonna add a star to it and that will be printed when i is equal to one it will be printed only once and in the next iteration let's increment the value of i here and when i becomes two it should be printed two times in the second iteration okay so we will be multiplying the star by i all right and let's execute it now and here you can see that we have the same required pattern this one now in the method 5 we are further going to decrease the number of lines all right we will be using just two lines and a single loop so it will be a for loop and the range will go from 1 to not inclusive 6 and we are going to use a print statement here so the for loop is just a conversion of the while loop into the for loop and we are going to use the same statement we used in the while loop and just execute it and here you can see that we have the same pattern with just two lines and a single loop so in the most basic method we had six lines and three loops now in the most advanced method we have just single loop and two lines see how efficient we got and it also decreased the program size so please subscribe to support pi pro tricks and that's it for now thank you for watching now it's time to discover more simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more